First, we have a summary of the number of individuals in each category of the categorical variables in our model. Next, we have the model fitting information. This tests whether our model fits significantly better than a model with no predictors, when we can see here that it does not. Below this, we have the goodness of fit tests. These tests how well our specified model fits the our observed data. We want these to be non-significant. We can see here that these are, indicating that our model fits the data reasonably well. The pseudo r square table underneath gives r square equivalence for the ordinal regression. Generally, all are reported. Next, we look at the table of parameter estimates. We want to look at the location rows. These are the effects of our covariance. We can see here that income was the only significant predictor, indicating that as annual income increased, the level of satisfaction with preferred political party decreased. When reporting the results, you would generally report the model fitting information, R square statistics, and coefficients and confidence intervals from the parameter estimates table. Finally, you should also report an effect size. Information on how to do this is provided in StatHand.